was hidden. This door isn't going to open, Professor! Yes, it would seem we need to solve this puzzle first. Alright, a gear switch. Alright, the button that opens the door in front of you is buried deep within this machine, so you can't push it directly. However, by pulling the knob on top of the left or right, oh, to the left or right, you can move the various gears and, and plates in the machine, allowing you, allowing you to press the button at the bottom. So, in order to hit the open button, should you pull the knob towards A or B? Go to memo. Alright, yeah, let's go to memo. Okay, watch this. Okay, go right ahead. I think I figured it out already. Alrighty. So, if you move right towards B. Yes. This will go that way. Yes. Which then will make the gears move this way. Mm-hmm. And you keep following the gears. Yes. And then it comes to here. Yes. Now, as this moves, it continues down here mm -hmm. and moves the gears this way. Yes. Which then moves here, mm -hmm. which in turn moves this gear yep. there. Yep, and it, uh, and it hits the open button. So, it's got to be towards B. Yep. Go we'll go right ahead. Press it. Consider this puzzle solved. Nice yeah. going. <laughs> A true I love one, uh, mechanical engineering. <laughs> well, 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 actually, it does fit your bill because uh, I, I am a welder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you are the welder, and, and right now uh, you do work a little bit on fixing stuff. So, <laughs> so, so, pu so puzzles like these are not too bad for you. So, good job, and, and, and I'm being serious. Good job. Excellent. That's supposed to be me. Excellent. The door's open now. Let's proceed on. I wanted to see the door open. I mean, we were again. We're on a budget of a dollar. We can't. We... Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, since uh, since uh, Eagle Scout Myers gave uh, Peter a hamster mini game, he snips out hint coins for us. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying, we were on the budget of a dollar. We can't have. We can't always have animations on our games now, can we? I want animation. <laughs> Cause look, there's something on the wall here. This is most certainly a puzzle. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Do we have to, Professor? Luke, have you forgotten what game we're in? No, we're not in a game. <laughs> Alright, all the doors in the maze below only open in one direction. Each door can be opened by push by pushing from the direction shown below. Uh, but, when approached from the opposite direction, no amount of pulling or pushing will open it. If you try to go through the whole maze from the start and pass through every exit and pass through every room, you never make it to the exit. However, this feat would be possible if one of the if one of the doors could open in the opposite direction. Can you find and circle this door? Okay. Let's go this way. Alright. Go to memo. Alright, go back to the memo. Here's our in. Yeah. We need to make sure. And we need to make sure to go out. So we're trying to find the one that can be pushed in the opposite direction. Yes, in order for us to get out. Okay, so you can't go this way, but you can go this way. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as you go this way, you can't go anywhere else. No. Because the doors are pushed in. So, so it's got to be either one purple, of yeah, the this purple gate. door or the blue door. Let's say if we did push through this one, okay, okay. we can not go. Uh, we can go through here. Yes. Then we go through here. Mm-hmm. Then through here. Mm-hmm. And then through here. Yes. Now, let's say if this door does not get through, but we go through here. Mm -hmm. We're stuck at a dead end. Yes. Right. Uh, however, there is a little trick. Don't forget when it says over here. From the start, you want to pass through every room as well. We need to pass through every room. I think you need to pass through every room. I think that's what I think that's what is applying here. Uh, uh, but if not, I do I do get what you're saying though about the uh, memo. So you uh, so you are right, and it has to be either the blue or purple. Redraw a circle. All right, let's try. It. Here goes. Yep. All I right. was right. Yeah. All right. Two for two. That nice. Yeah, 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 you're right. Oh, so it yeah. did want us to pass through every room. But uh, but you were still on the right track, though, with that, too. So, because, yeah, if you started here and this one was open, you go through here, here, 
here, down over here, down over there, go here, back up through here, and you will be able to make it out. Uh, but, uh, but no one, uh, but no one said you can't pass through the same room twice. I finally solved it! Still, it's odd, Professor. Why would someone go through the trouble of placing a puzzle down here? Perhaps the miners made puzzles to pass the time between s between ships as they worked in the mine. Nah. All right, we got a diary key. Actually, did we get a diary key last time? No, we did not. All right. My father fell ill from that sickness and has passed on. I also heard that many pe that many of the people who left Fossens have formed a small village a safe distance <laughs> from town. I imagine she lives there now too. I've decided to send her a letter. As Duke, I can't leave town, but I've entrusted my message with a man who ha who is passing through town. Now all I can do is wait for her reply. Hey, right, let's uh, we're going over here. Alrighty, let's. See. We'll need to get this lift running again if we want to head further into the mine. But how to do that? Aha! I see some severed wires over there. I bet they're the reason the lift isn't moving. Let's see. Oh uh, yes. Go ahead and reconnect them, Luke. <laughs> yes, I'm leaving it all to a small boy. Again, if you get electrocuted, I, I'm just gonna pretend I never met you in the first place. That should fix our problem. No F you. Perfect. Professor, I, Professor, I'm beginning to think to wonder you never really loved me to begin with. No, Luke, whatever to give you that idea. Well, alright, well, good luck. It's the slider. Second board. It contains a puzzle, so I have to get this to here. Yeah, uh, yeah, so you need to get the red ball in the, uh, in the uh, red color hole and the blue ball in the blue color hole. So basically, yeah, just switch them around. Oh, that's blocking. Okay. Uh, no, uh, no, it's not blocking. Yeah. No, that's blocking. Well, well, well yeah. I need to get that there and this there. Yes. So yeah, 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 yes, yeah. So basically, you're just switching the uh, balls around, or, or at least, yeah. Put, yeah, yeah, get the red ball in the red hole. I'm close. You're close. Need to make sure I get this right. moves. <laughs> there you go. You definitely do it better. Um, well, actually, this one does tell you how many moves you could have solved it in. Oh, F you. Twelve moves. F you! <laughs> nah, it's okay. Like I said, you know, the sliders, you know, uh, even, uh, uh, even, uh, 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 Yeah, you're, yeah, the you're stutter. I know. Uh, but, uh, but basically what I was gonna say, you know, like, um, 
uh, 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 even uh, even among you know the the lane fans out there and such, the slider puzzles are sometimes a nightmare for everyone, mine included. That's why uh, that's why most of the times when I see the slider puzzles, I'm like, all right, time to break out a guide. Ooh, the lift is making some noise. I think it's fixed. Excellent. I suppose our next move should be should should be to head down then. Alrighty. Can I hit the button? No. Oh, you did it. Ooh. Yep. That's fine. So, you know. It's a pentagon. Yes. And it's a puzzle. What do you think, Luke? Would this safe hold some of the hold some of the journals that Gringo mentioned? Well, we won't know until we open it. But how do we open it? The lock is rather complicated. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if I can decipher the code. Alrighty, so find the four number code that opens the safe. You can use the number zero through five in your answer, but each but each number can only be used can only yeah, can be used only once. The small lights uh, the small lights next to each row of the numbers are the key to finding the code, as they tell you how much in common the row has with the final code. Each white light indicates that indicates a number that matches one of the code but is in a different place within the sequence. The orange light indicates a number that is in the code and is in the correct spot. Alright, well let's worry about the uh, correct number in the correct spot. So as you can see, um, in the third row, there is actually two numbers in here that are right and are in the right spot. A zero and a one. So first number is zero and the second number is one. Alright, now as we can see, we see some more common numbers right here. Let's go let's go to the first row. So we see the four, a one, a five, and a zero. All of these numbers are right. Two are in the right place, but two are in the wrong place. Well, we know alright, well alright, well, we know that two well, we know that uh, two are already in the right place. Zero has to be in the second row, and it looks like five is in the third row. Uh, zero is in the wrong place. It should be in the first row. So if that's the case, the four that's in the first row should be in the last row. And there's your code. Consider this puzzle solved. <laughs> uh, happy Father's Day to my dad, and then huh. I have to text dad saying, "Can you bring home my next board? That's fine. But yeah, all right. We found the code. It was four. It was zero one five four. Oh, hello, Professor Late. Hello, Professor Layton. In interesting that you come to my stream and everything. Uh, Professor Layton, why do you sometimes mean to Luke and such? Why do you sometimes, you know, make him not make make him not have a bed in Saint Mysteria? Why do you make him sleep on the floor? And uh, why do you make him do all these dangerous things? Like you know, work like like basically you know work like basically work on a uh, uh like. Yeah, trying to work to get the, you know, elevator working and everything, you know, why are you trying to, you know, why are you trying to, you know, basically, uh, make him see, like, you know, a cabaret with a very questionable woman and such? Uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very worried about you, Professor Lane. Are, are you sure I don't need to call child, are you sure I don't need to call child protective service on you and such? Uh, but, uh, but in all seriousness, welcome to the game. <laughs> I hope, uh, I, ho I hope you enjoyed the stream and such. That did the trick. I don't think that's the real one. I know, I know it's not. I know it's not the real one. I'm just, I'm just more making a joke. I thought you actually thought it was the real one. Just, just it. I may be a little naive, but I'm not that naive. You're, you're naive. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, hey, I mean, hey, I, I'll, I'll be the first to admit. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it takes me a while to figure out, you know, what stuff actually means. But again, I'm not that naive. But anyway, welcome, Professor Lee. Welcome to the stream. You crazy son of a bitch. Have a look at this, Professor! We got a new chat in here! We finally got someone watching our shit! Ah, oh, this looks like- this looks like a worker's journal. This is- this is just the thing we've been looking for, Luke. Perhaps it could shed some light on what transpired here. Let's see what it says. We dug up some funny- we dug up some funny minerals that I've never seen before here in the Duke's gold deposit. I'm sure I'm sure the ore I'm sure the ore can be refined into some other kind of precious metal. Personally, I feel like there's something sinister about this stuff. Not that the Duke cares one bit. 
No, he'll have his way, and we'll keep digging. I bet my life on that. Just you, Luke. Some other kind of precious metal? But I thought this was a gold mine. Ever since we unearthed that awful ore, folks have, folks have been dropping like flies from some unknown illness. Nah, I'm not going to say it too easy. So many people in town are sick that half, of, that half of our workforce here has stopped coming in. What in the world is going on here? Gosh, that's just terrible. So many people must have been sick. Folsom's run as a gleaming beacon of... Pro of pro pro uh, pros pros prosperity prosperity that, that's what i thought it was just want to make sure gleaming beacon of prosperity is at an end this town is cursed and ruined i sus i suspect we're just we're just days away from shutting down this awful mine for good i have leave this diary behind so that anyone who tries to reopen the mine thinks twice how odd the date, the date on this last entry is from just about 50 years ago. But that can't be right. The mine was up and running until recently. Yes, or so we've been told. But this, but this has to be thinking. Why did someone leave a like on this stream? Have they seen the rest of my videos? I'm a horrible commentator. But thank you for the like. I'll gladly take it. Both this diary and Gringo suggest a connection between the Elysium box and the events in the mine. From what I can tell, all of this traces back to a single man, the Duke himself. Even even if he himself is long gone, his castle yet his castle may yet contain the answers to all of our questions. So, um, does that mean we have to go visit that spooky castle for ourselves? <laughs> Do you mean to tell me you're scared of the place, you little bitch? Uh, of course not. A million vampires wouldn't scare me. If there truly is a vampire living in the castle, I'd very much like to make his acquaintance. I want to know how the hell does he suck blood. That could be a very useful tool for later. Professor, you're scaring me. Don't say like th things like that. Professor, if we meet one, I'm sure he'd eat us on the spot. But I thought they only drink blood. The professor and Luke decide. The professor and Luke decide to snowboard their way through Hershen Castle. <laughs> what was even that for? <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let me check something real quick, folks. Uh, not yet. Alrighty. Do you want to message him real quick? Uh, say that hey, we need you. I uh, know. Uh, I uh, know. Uh, it's fine. He did. Uh, he did told me that like you know he uh, he would message me real quick. Boop, boop, boop. I believe we retrieved the records we came for. Let's take our leave for now. But what's this? The lift, it's out of service again. I say this won't do. Oh, well look here. There's a set of buttons built into the wall. Surely one of these buttons will send the lift back up, but they're disconnected. Alrighty, we're starting the lift. Ooh, mine. Why? All right. Uh, your task here: wires are connecting the elevator to the button controlling it have somehow been uh, severed. However, severed. Severed. However, if you can re if you connect the negative and the positive wires on top on top of the wires carrying the same charge below, you can fix the elevator. To do this, draw lines between set between sets of X-shaped terminals. Draw two lines connecting each positive and negative terminal to its counterpart. And get the elevator running again. So negative's gotta go to negative and positive's gotta go positive. I believe I believe it's negative to positive or or it could be negative to negative. Well, uh, I uh, know I know that it's normally negative to negative, positive to positive. I, I think but it, on real life, but I think in this it's positive to negative. I, I think it is too, because I remember that like uh, when you draw the line it has to be almost like a wide X shape. Okay, so this is positive yeah, and this, this is, is negative. negative. And this is also negative, negative and this and is positive. also positive. All right. So, positive. So, the first positive is on this screw. Okay. And then the negative. The negative is on... This one. Yeah, that screw. Okay, and the negative here. 
Man, these are so... I, I know. You can barely see the wires. Okay. okay well, so well, let, well, let's see. So, all right. This so, is positive. Yes. This is negative. Yes. This one is positive, positive and that one is negative. Two. All right. So let's see if you were connected. So, let's so positive, see. negative, positive, negative. Uh, okay. Okay. Now then, it, then it is negative to negative, and positive to positive. Yeah, 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 because that's what it's supposed to look like. And now to test my thing. Oh no. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I Let me check something. One possibility eliminated. With the same charge symbol. Oh the, oh the same charge Oh okay, hold so on then. Okay. Alright. Alright. All right, all right, so right, it is what right. I said what it was. Okay, but hold alright, but hold on, let's take a look real quick when you do that. So because we know it was that one, and I know the negative was the first was the uh, first one to the left on the top. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. just showing the viewers. I know. Okay, so the other one is so it goes right here. And... Oh wait, hold on. Okay, clear real quick, because I think I see what you did. No, I didn't do anything wrong. This was right. So negative and positive. All right, let's try this, that then. This. Yeah, that should be right. No, that's should not be it. Trick. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, but we know which ones are well, positive and which I ones are negative. But I, uh, I know that. So are we supposed to do positive and negative on the bottom? No, what you did was that, like, you went a little too fast with this. Because, uh, uh, you see this? You went over here and then you skipped over there. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Watch. Look. Watch. Yeah, and it goes to the bottom. No. You did something like this. What you were supposed to do was like this. Those wires are confusing. Because they get cut off. Yeah, here's the positive. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so, alright, so let's try the uh, positive. Alright, so, alright, let's try the positive and negative real quick. So, it's supposed to be like this. Mm hmm. Alright, and then we were to do. This, and then. Do this, yeah. Okay, is this so one? It's a crisscross. Yeah, is this one? Okay, I'm done. No, 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 no. You're not done. Uh, you, you had the right idea. It's just Wonderful. like you know, like you said, the uh, bottom, the bottom wire in a memo feature was a little cropped off. So, uh, so, so it's easy to see. You know, you getting confused on like you know where it goes and such. You had the right idea. But it appears to be working. We should be able to leave the mine now. Alrighty. Alright, let's go. Alright, uh, let's see. Do you want to try to be powerful? Because I know, because you're, you're a little bit more in, better in Spanish than I am. Hola, fun son. Am I glad to see you? I was sure I'd never see another soul ever again. Hey, I know you! I was driving El Mundo, and last thing I remember, I was in transit to Egypt. Tell me, Pity, how long were these fine pyramids built? Sorry, sir, but you're not in Egypt. Do you remember how you got here? I haven't the foggiest, senor. Un, um, uno momento, I'm heading for Africa. The next. Um, uh, hold on. That's fine. <laughs> I know it's minute. I I, I know Mumunto. Next Mumunto, I'm down here. With no one around, I started poking at this thing I passed the time, and I think I broke it. Ah yeah. Help me fix it, CS Plot. Hey, right, balancing ornaments. Why would you break an ornament? I mean, you gotta do something to pass the time. It just needs to, you just need to put the one ornament there. Yeah, just basically in a question mark. So yeah, you have a small, you have a small ornament dangling from the metal bar, but, and they have thrown, and they have thrown the bar off balance. The five ornament strings are spaced equally apart, and each have three types of ornaments weight, uh, yeah, each type, three types of ornaments that weighs a different amount. 
The heaviest ornament weighs the same as as three of the lightest ones, while the medium ornament weighs the same as two of the lightest ornaments. Okay, you Place ready for this? Alright, go right ahead. Which one do you think it is? Don't take it. So, let's go to Memo. Alright. We don't need to worry about these. Okay. Because this is in the middle of where it's dangling. Yes. So, right now we're at a balancing act. Uh -huh. We have a crescent. Let's say that this is one. Okay. Okay. Because we see that there's five crescents. Alrighty. And over here, so we'll do the same thing. So, we see that there's five here right now. Uh-huh. And two here. Okay. Okay. Now we have three circles and two stars. Uh-huh. Now, plus, plus here. Okay. okay. I think you see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think I see what you're getting at. So, if there's two stars here... Yes. Then it's gotta... Uh, and we gotta add something here. Uh-huh. It means whatever we're missing from here to here is our answer here. Yes. So, let's make this a two. Okay. Okay. And make the stars a three. Alrighty. Okay. So, two plus two plus two is six. Alright, so we got six. So, this would be eleven. Yes. Uh, don't forget to count the other two for this uh, yes. circle right here. Okay, so this circle here is a two. Okay. And a three and three. So two plus two plus six. Six plus four equals ten. All right. In so this case, we are missing one. one. And which one did we make as one? We made the moon as one. So therefore, it's the moon. All righty. Uh, shall, shall I help? Um, uh, okay, so since this is the first time that we're doing puzzles, um, if there's ever a need where, like, you guys want to give Justin or Toy Bonnie a hint on puzzles, um, uh, I'm fine with it. If Justin or Bonnie would like it, would like a hint on it, that's, uh, that's alright with them. Um, just, uh, just so you know, for those that came in here, I have played the, I have played these three games before, so I know the answers to most of the puzzles. The so, uh, so, uh, so, <laughs> you, you are right. So, so, uh, so basically, like, you know, um, if anyone in the chat does also want to help out Toy Bonnie or, or uh, Justin and such, by either giving yeah, them... Yeah, you guys can just type it in chat. Like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter to yeah. us. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to us. I mean, if you guys want to at least either give hints or just, you know... Uh, actually give out the answer overall that's uh, that's fine with both that's fine with all three of us so we enjoy like uh, we enjoy the commentary and we enjoy having the fans of the game play with us yes we're just a small YouTube channel so yeah 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 it's good uh, it's good it's good to see everyone around here you know uh, joining in uh, join in on the fun uh, but yes uh, actually yeah Justin was right all along yes the crystal was one the uh, ball was two and the star was three uh, a single, yeah, a single star ornament uh, weighs as one, as one sun. I guess it's, well, I guess it's the sun because it's round. Um, but yeah, uh, the strand of the ornaments is supposed to counterbalance the one with a question mark. Uh, yeah, with a question mark, it doesn't have any star ornaments. But if you compare the ornaments as, as shown above, you can figure out what should go in the question mark space regardless. Alrighty. Ooh, wonderful! A million agagotos, min emis. Now I can finally leave this musty tomb. It's not Any a tomb. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, I mean, technically, you know, it's. And I butchered that Spanish. That that's okay. I butcher every English around here. I offend everyone every around the English? world. Every English. Well, every English, every language. Technically, I do butcher English too. So I offend everyone around the world. <laughs> I don't know how many days have passed with me waiting to hear back from her. It's been so long, in fact, that, it, that even trying to figure out what I... Trying to figure out when I send that letter has become difficult. Maybe she really doesn't love me. Maybe she's living in some other town, happily married to another man. Someone's got a crush. Someone's got a crush. Yes, they have a crush, but uh, nothing's over there. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick match real quick. Um, probably not back yet, but just wanna take a quick look. Uh, while uh, while we wait and such. Uh, all right, so while we wait, I don't think he will mind if uh, we do. Uh, if we at least do one of the uh, camera mini games for him. It's a play. Uh, he's about to mention it back. Almost. All right, he's almost back. It's back. a play. Uh, all right, uh, all, right, uh, all right. You know what? Uh, all right. You know what? Since he's almost back, I'll say I'll save the camera mini game when he gets back. 